Repeat once more. Yay. Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. Question, what's so fun and so cute? Tick -tock, tick -tock. Yes, you guessed it right, you guys are a smart bunch. Yes, it's the poppin' cooking. Tanoshi ramen. We have ramen, we have the dumpling, we have the pudding. So as you can see on their website, it is mentioned it is halal. It's not mentioned it's halal on the packaging. In addition to that, when you go to their snacks frequently asked questions page, you can see the first question is, are your snacks halal? And they have mentioned yes, yes, yes. So on the side, you can see we have the contents. We have the tray, we have a plastic bag, a fork, a pick, a cup, and five packets, all different colored. So let's check out the side. We have the nutritional facts. You can pause the video and check them out. And on this side, we have all the ingredients listed. I'm not going to read them. You can pause the video and find out the ingredients for yourself. And then on this side, we have the adult supervision advice. You can also pause the video and read this out. Now let's go to the back of the box, which has all the instructions you will need. So all the steps are at the back that you will need to make this delicious meal. So the previous Tanoshi burger meal, I did mention that these do not taste like actual food that you're making. This is a candy version of it. So for this particular one, the recipe is a soda, strawberry, cola, and mango flavors. You will get these flavors when you make your gummy meal. So for the first thing you have to do is wash your hands very well and prepare a glass of water. I went ahead and got myself a jug of water. Okay, let's open. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I will not be aggressive like last time. Oh no. Oh my god. I spoke too soon. There we go. Isn't that cute? So we need this box because all the instructions are on this. I'm going to go ahead and actually cut this off very gentle like. Ooh. So here we have our powder packets, our squeeze bag. A pick, fork, <laughs> our pudding cup, and our trays to prepare our meal. So first of all, let's cut all of these pieces out. It's, e it's easier. It's easier to manage if it's all cut out. Some people just leave it as it is. You do whatever you feel like. I just feel like it's easier this way. No. Okay. No, how is there a cut in this? Ya Allah. Okay. Is that it? Is that how, is that what we need? Or do I need to cut this as well? I have no idea. These are extra parts. Okay, so here we have, do I need to cut this out as well? Okay, so here it is, the dumpling, the ramen places and everything. So let's get started. We haven't started yet. Let's make the mango pudding. Add water to the cup until it is half full. Okay, is that what they want? That's half full. Add powder from the orange packet. This is the orange packet and it says mango pudding powder. Everything is labeled so there's no need to worry about it. Mmm, that smells like mango. The very artificially mango. Mix it very well. Mix, mix, mix. It will become firm in 10 minutes. Okay, let's make the ramen toppings which are these two pieces here. 
we have the Naruto and we have the boiled egg. Pour water up to the line in the star tray. This is the star tray. Yeah, that's how much it's measuring out. Add powder from the blue packet. This is the dough powder. Mix until thick. Tear off two pieces of the dough and fill the Naruto side and the egg mold side. After you've done that, just remove. I think they mean small pieces because you don't need like so much of the dough. I just take a tiny bit of the soft dough that we just made and press it against the mold and it's so adorable. Do the same thing with the egg mold. So cute. And the yolk part, we will do that later. Then, let's make the gyoza dumpling. Divide the remaining dough in quarters. So we need, I'm going to put it on this. Just shape the dough into a nice rounded lump. Then using the fork, I am just cutting the dough into four fairly equal portions. Oof, that was not even. Spread one dough evenly to match shape and size of the packing pouch guide. Packing pouch? Uh, is that this one? Oh, it's on the packaging. Basically, you get this packet here. So I have to put it here. This is going to be our guide. It's literally like Play-Doh. Okay, it's getting somewhere, but there's it's like thick in some places and like thin in others. So then we have to take it off. Place the dough on the gyoza mold and press to make the hollow space. This is the gyoza dumpling mode. Mode. Mold. Just press the inside so you have that space ready. Fill space on each side with powder from the red packet. This is the powder from the red packet. It says ingredients. That's it. Oh, it's kind of like sprinkles. That's adorable. Close the mold and press sides together to attach. Repeat once more. Yay. Ah! Okay. This weird sounds coming from this. Did it attach? Yay. That's one. I'll make another one. That's the second one. We make two spring rolls and we make uh, two dumplings. Make the spring roll. Place powder from the red packet on the dough and roll. Repeat steps. It's a lot of strawberry and uh, mango smell. It's actually good because they told us to make mango pudding first and you can see that by the time you're done with all of it, the pudding will would have set. Okay, then we just add in the red and green flakes. Okay, let's close this. Let's make the ramen. Pour water up to the line in the music tray. Uh, that would be this one. Add powder from the brown packet. This one. Oh, I wish it tasted like actual food. Mix. This must be the cola flavor. Then for the other one, the star tray, we are supposed to add this yellow packet, which is the noodle powder. And again, we have to fill it to the line. You will see the line inside. There. Mix. Okay, that's mixed. Pierce the corner of the squeezing bag with the pick from the inside to the outside. We're gonna be making ramen. Duh. Doo -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. I pierced it on the side. Fold down the top of the squeezing bag and put the yellow mixture in. Still kind of very runny. That looks so poppin' cute. Fold the top back up and twist it. Squeeze the mixture into the brown liquid. The gooey yellow liquid will turn into ramen right in front of your eyes. 
eggs. Squeeze some of the mixture into the hollow part of the egg which was prepared earlier. Let's set it all up. Let's place the dumplings on the tray. Then place the spring rolls next to them. Place the brothy ramen bowl. Let's add the toppings to our ramen. We have to add the boiled egg, second boiled egg, first Naruto, second Naruto. That looks so delicious. Let's stick in the fork. Remove the mango pudding. Turn the cup over onto the packing pouch. And we're done. Our meal is ready. Let's eat. Bismillah rahman rahim. Itadakimasu. The noodles are Vamune soda flavor, kind of lemony. So it is going very well with the cola broth. It feels like I'm eating sweet ramen. Hmm, all the different flavored elements such as the strawberry flavored eggs and Naruto mesh very well together. I added the sour green and red sprinkles to the broth. It gives it that refreshing break from all the sweetness. So the dumplings have that very chewy texture and it's strawberry flavored and it's very sweet. But the sour red and green flakes actually help with balancing out the sweetness of the dumpling. The spring rolls are also the same thing, same texture, same flavorings and the same sour candy filling. Everything is going very well together. On to the mango pudding. Now the mango pudding has this very fake mango essence smell. Taste wise it's really good but the texture is just really off as in i feel like it should have been mixed more properly it has this lumpiness inside that's what's really making it very hard to eat but otherwise it's really tasty let's drink the ramen broth <sighs> tastes like cola yay we finished Arigato gozaimasu. so everyone if you really enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to like subscribe press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that i might post Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah is Bye. Jazakallah khair, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.